All right, Creek Squad. Honestly, I'm kind of too lit for this shit. Um, I'm aggravated. Um, I don't even understand how this dude has got on his radar. Obviously, there is some bad blood, and usually, generally, what it is is probably they got fucking offered this and that and didn't know how to use it and did some bullshit and now they're fucking mad about it and trying to drop some shit when someone's at his at his top peak of his career. It's like, so stupid. But I'm here to listen. I want to know what's going on. And what are these douchebags doing? Like, uh, I know it's, it's uh, you know, I've been clowning, joking, whatever. Um, let's, let's see what's going on with church, man. I, I, I got to know. I got to know. So, um, what the fuck is wrong with it? Gobble, 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 neck. Welcome back, folks. We have breaking news. Like, it's broken. <laughs> Without any further ado, right. I give you the legend of Johnny Gobble and the Cracky Tooth Chronicles. The Cracky Tooth Cracky Tooth. Nice. But they heard me had pulled up with some other boy that made friends with, and they had ended up chasing church, and they met a boy down here. So now we have a squad. We've got a squad over here juggling each other's fucking marble sack, playing jacks. Nice. Well, that, I didn't know this how it went down until years later, but... All right, so the guy on top is Johnny Gobble. The guy on the bottom is Cracky Tooth. So Cracky Tooth, the guy on the bottom who sounds like an old grandma with mesothelioma, is apparently about to tell a story that I'm involved in. Let's see how many Johnny Gobble Cracky Tooth tendencies are in this story. Oh, I'm yeah. interested. Me too. And I got to pause it so that way I don't get a copyright. But it's all right. It's fine because we're going to hear what old Gobbleneck's got to say. Bulletproof, the original one that I wrote way before church and we met. Bulletproof that you wrote before church. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Motherfucker. And uh, when I was playing the original version, uh, that's when church pulled up after they texted him and he pulled up. And he waited till I got done playing guitar and playing that song. And he walked up to me, just straight up to me, shook my hand. He said, and if word for word, I'm going to make you the next trip and more. Well, damn, that sucks, because you didn't end up being that now, did you? You ended up being the next dumbass on my YouTube channel. Wow, and it sucks that he just walked up and offered you to give you some help. Well, don't fucking, you know, obviously you just said, so this is supposed to be a video against church, but the first thing said was church walked up and said he was going to help you. Well, God darn, dag burn. So the story he's referring to a long time ago, some kids around here was like, hey man, there's this fucking man at the park, I think he's homeless and he's looking for you. I was like, for what? And they're like, man, he needs help or something, fucking something with a record deal. So pretty much, I drive down there and there's this hold fucking on, hold kid on. yodel. Sorry, I think I got a little too loud, y'all. I don't want him screaming at y'all right here. Putting in the rain, it's like goddamn 50 yeah, degrees yeah. outside. You know what I mean? I got out of my yeah. truck, I walked over, I was like, hey man, what, you know, what are you doing at the park? You know, yodeling in the rain. He's like, man, I traveled down here, and when I got down here, man, this dude told me he had a record deal for me, man. And he, like, tricked me, man. I'm living in the woods over here, man. I was like, what the fuck? A record deal in Ashland City? He's like, yeah, man. He's like, look, right over there in front of the fucking shell station, man. That's how his story really started. Okay, now go on, Cracky Toe. Tell us the story. When I was like, who are you? He said, I'm not running up church. He said, I do music and stuff. And he said, I don't know what your situation is, but you can come back with me tonight, and you're through, and I have to go. Well, damn, don't let me invite you to my house and see if I can't help you. What the fuck? Damn. That's shitty of you, Ryan. Fucking, you know, don't help me like that or nothing. It's your room. I got, you. I got extra room in my apartment and all this. And everything come off so nice and all that. And that well, God. Kinda. Okay. I did take him in for the night. It was raining outside. It was cold. That was cool as fuck. Tooth in the wood. That's cool as fuck, bro. You know what I'm saying? He, he don't know this place. So, yeah, I did tell him he could come back to the house. Damn. I wasn't, like, super nice. I said, hey, man, you can come back to my house. But my girlfriend at the time is here, too. Don't come in my room or I will shoot you because I don't know you. I mean, that's common. Yeah, okay. All right. 
That's how that went. Take, Take it away, Crazy Tooth. That's fine. Right. Something in my stomach told me no, so I said no, man. I said no, I appreciate it, man. Come on, I'm going to do what I'm doing. You know that. Well, and he left, and then everybody hung out for a while, and they left, and it was just me again. And the next day, he pulled back up. And he said, look, man, you, you really need to say He came back? He just said that... You just said he offered to let you go, so you stayed on the the picnic table? You can't be out here. Like, what are you going to do? He's like, I was like, I'm going to do what I always do. You're, You're already lying. lying. You, you came, came back the first time. night. Oh, shit. Why the fuck would I come back a second time and be like, man, you sure you don't want to? I mean, oh, I really wow. To I, just, I was just trying to be nice. And uh, he's like, well, just come back with me, man. Like, I, know, I know it's weird. I know you don't know me, but like. Jesus we can really make some music and make him really do something. I said, I know you don't know me, but it's just trust me for a day. Fuck I'll tell you what I am, I'll tell you what we can do and all that. And uh, I went back with him. I said, you know what, fuck it. I, in my head, I'm thinking, I ain't got shit going on. I ain't go out. Right. This is different. You already told me the story about the record deal, which I don't think, I don't even know what the fuck that was. There is no record label in Ashland City. I think some dude was trying. So he heard about you. Through the grapevine from someone else, and he made his way out to you. Okay, we got. I got you. I got you. I'm playing with your butt, to be real. Oh, he like, his rubber oh, dick head on pop up like a music ad. Hey man, I can make you a star. You travel here to Ashland City about a fake record deal. Everyone knows I'm against record deals. I ask you if you need some help. Boom, there we go. Oh my God, that's fucking crazy, man. So crazy. He fucking took me in his apartment. At the time, he was in an apartment. In other words, he knew what he was fucking doing. So this is. After Ryan has moved out of the trailer, this this is he's he's done something. He's already but you heard what he said, he was already man. This is crazy, bro. People are on some absolute fuckery, bro. Yeah, so I go back I wasn't that night at my back and my guitar that I ever had. And uh, to this day if I didn't have my, my girlfriend, if I went with her, that's all I still have. My, I had my guitar. Yeah. So you wouldn't have shit if it wasn't for your girl, so you still won't do nothing for yourself. My girls help me a lot, yes, but I do my own thing. Whoa. Uh, you know, uh, I walked in, he, he took me to the back bedroom. He said, hey, you're, you're, it, was, it was a studio. It had a studio and a bed. He puts you in the fucking studio, and you're on here with fucking Gobbleneck talking shit? No wonder Ryan doesn't fucking want to talk to nobody anymore. Why the fuck would he? He said, here, it's your room. I get yours, do whatever you want. Hand me a skull pan. And I said, I don't dip. But I quit dip. Oh, right, so he looked out dip. again. I said, I don't dip. He said, no, no, open it up. He's like, I open it up. It's full of weed. He's like, you smoke. Oh, you so he out. double looked out. <laughs> Gobble neck. <laughs> fuck but, up. And it was cool. For a long time after that, it was like, it was like that. And then like, I think six months rolled by. I, in those six months, I was not singing. I was just, uh, nobody knows it. Riding the coattail. But if you ever heard a guitar on any of the, his first album and up to Project X, that was me. That's how I made my living with Church for, until I ever sang a song with him. I played, I made beats with band play for a long ass time. That's all I did. Yeah. Me and Johnny okay. Cash and band play made all the beats and wrote all the hooks. No, you that's what? a lie. I ain't none of y'all writing no hooks. I'll have been a Did say. I pay you as a guitar player in the studio? Uh, yeah, it's called a session player. I pay you the money. I already gave you a place to stay. He's giving you everything, is what I hear. But I mean, that's just me. I don't know. That's what I hear. Now you work for me. You got a roof over your head. I'm paying you to go to work to the studio. I'm not live in the woods on a on a park bench. Paying you money. Even though you came to him, you know you came to him, because why else would you be in that place with people messaging him to tell about you, because you're in this place looking for him? Oh, shit. To do this, when I could pay 500 other motherfuckers in Nashville to do it, but I'm letting you do it to make money, to get on your feet. Or Not people only to do it on free. Feet, but you're already in a studio, Cracky Tooth. Yep. Use the money I'm paying you to pay for your own music and make your own music. At the studio, you're already at. Duh. So like a year went by, and, and finally I got to do Bulletproof. Because in that year, six months to a year, I hadn't wrote anything. I was just doing a uh, guitar uh, track. Yeah, to six months to a year, you didn't write shit for yourself. 
What do you mean do? Sharpen, sharpen the goddamn pencil and be like, here, write these lyrics. And uh, so we do the we do uh, bulletproof. We didn't do a video for that, but we do bulletproof, and that's everybody's introduction to me. You know, I, right. me. I, this is who this kid is. You know, whatever. So after I saved him from a guy who wanted to probably touch his butthole, got him to stop yodeling in the rain when it's 50 degrees outside, put a roof over his head, give him a fucking job, take him on tour. Now, I do a song with him and show him to people to boost his career. Damn, you're fucking just an asshole, Ryan. I wish you would treat me that bad. I'm such a fucking horrible person. You're going to hell. Treat me like shit, please. <laughs> Great. What? Well then, you know, that's cool, I'm touring and doing Bulletproof, and then we do the old days of the music video, and then my whole life changed, like, for fucking ever. My life changed when I met church, because... How are you sitting here saying how much you love church, but you're on a fucking video with Johnny Gobbleneck? Please rest your fucking head, man. Jesus. I don't know if anybody knows this, church was famous six years ago. Right. And... Church deserved it six years ago, motherfucker. Fuck. Like the type of famous where it was scary. Like when I literally, I, I can never make this shit up. Like when I first, the first time Church ever posted me on this shit, like I was just playing guitar in Instagram videos from him. He posted me, I love you all so much. I, I do have a hell of a bigger following now. But I think you are all fucking awesome. I'm not scared. I, I I love it. I please share my shit. Thank you. Comment. I love talking to you guys. Fucking Greek Squad. Goddamn it. Yeah, I'm like, what song? I can imagine the views. I can imagine. The oh my god! I can imagine. I go all the give them views, please. I need a view. Um, uh, can I watch it through my camera? Let me get a view. Can I? It, oh, oh, it went up. It went up. Jesus. Gobble net. The views. Jeez, calm down, Johnny Gobble. You know he's over there stretching his nutsack out far as hell right now. I can imagine the views. I can imagine the views. Oh shit, my testicle fell on the ground. Yeah, it does have a lot of views. It's been out for four years and has 39 million views to be exact. It's a shit ton of exposure for free if you ask me. Record labels can't even buy it. Damn, dude, you're such an ass, Ryan. I can't believe you would, would just, you know, give people shit. That and look, he's done not shit with it. Well, it's not, it's not, it's like, Thanks for you know getting me out of the rain. It's, it's that, that's what I was getting at. Like, bro, my phone literally froze for four days straight. I could not even open my phone, use my phone because it was going, it, 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 it locked my phone. My phone shut down. And wow. you're a bad guy for it. Wow. Wow. And that's oh. what I did. Shit was different. I had no idea nothing about wow. this. And I, I knew, yeah, oh I was my like, goodness. Well, I got overwhelmed and it, everything happened so fucking fast for me on my end because that's, 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 that's how it happened for me. Wow. I, I think, well, what are you crying about? You came here for a record deal to do the same exact thing. The only difference is that some dude pulled up and adopted and was like, I can help you. And did it better. In six months, everybody... Damn, you know, This is how crazy I, I mean, I'm like, bro, I didn't expect to ever do nothing. I just expected to struggle my whole life like I still am, you know? Dude, guys, he's just like Johnny Gobble, bro. Who the fuck wakes up like, yep, today I choose to struggle some more? Hmm... You came here for a record deal, bro. What do you... I came there to change my life, but my life got changed, and I was like, man, I don't want my life to change. Fuck it. I planned on just yodeling in the rain at the park for the rest of my life. Yodeling. Just hear me out, bro. There's literally four stars with my name on them. There's fucking my girls in New Zealand, guys right. in New Zealand that wear up me and his music and got our name tattooed on them in New Zealand. Like, this shit is not real to me. Like, this shit is... Still ain't hit me. Like, the fuck... Like, and, and, and... They hit you. Bro, I fired you like five years ago, bro. You need to wake the fuck up. Now, I don't know about porn stars and guys from New Zealand having your name tattooed on them, but, you know, maybe people get R-H-E-C or Creaker or I thought my signature it. tattooed I thought on them to... Maybe they came to a show and they're listening to music that changed their life. Or the Let me tell you all this, bro. I got the most awesome gift today. The most awesome gift. And I'm going to do a video about it. So, anyone that's watched this to this point, this is like a little trick for y'all. I gotta see if y'all are watching my videos for real. I was given something today by Appalachia Dawn. I want y'all, 
everybody in the comments to put hashtag Appalachia Dawn gift. And I'm going to show y'all what I got today. And yes, it has to do with church. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see. I'm a, I, Yeah, I just threw it right in the middle. Y'all think I'm always just a, a goofball. I don't pay no attention. I'm drunk, stupid. Uh, and I am. But hey, Appalachia gift. Hashtag Appalachia gift. And uh, I think y'all are going to like this, man. And I want church to see it, man. So if y'all want to tag church, that's great. But uh, tag the time because church is busy as fuck. So tag him right here. Let him see this one little part. I got something that churches, I don't know if church will remember this, but I've got something. Hey, I think y'all are going to like this. I hope these comments blow up with this hashtag you remember the way they think about their self and maybe that's their way of showing appreciation i'm not going to treat them like they're weird or nothing like what the fuck like yeah they are they're real people it is real life maybe they share real values with me like you don't have to understand it you're fucking hanging out with johnny gobble you probably don't understand shit Old days come out, bro. My whole fucking life changed. I couldn't even go outside the fucking apartment without being so that somebody being like, yo, 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 you that fucking dude. Yo, cause it No. <laughs> it wasn't like that back then, bro. I wasn't even that famous. No that did not happen ever. Not even to me. So I know it didn't happen to you. That's you know how I know? I was there, dummy. Oh, it was church, bro. Church was so fucking retarded famous that if he posted anybody, you could you, that person could not walk outside the area. And breathe. You couldn't, bro. I went to the mall with my baby mama. And I couldn't even. I, I was gonna get tattooed. My neck tattooed for old days video. This was before the old days, actually. I was getting my neck tattooed for the old. I, I got the microphone tattoo the day before the old days were shot. Cause I had to. I had to X his name on there. I had to cover it up with something. Cause yeah. I knew it was gonna get a lot of fucking views. Right. Tell us you're a dirtbag without telling us you're a fucking dirtbag. Rob, the chick Rob, he's talking Rob, about is my, Rob, talking Rob, about Rob, is my Rob, friend, which he impregnated oh. and dipped out on. Went to New York with a guy named Chris and smoked crack for three months. Are you fucking kidding? Listen to what he just said, dude. Come on, bro. Wow. I'm a father. I'm a father. First and foremost, I'm a father. I had to cover it up with something. Yeah. I knew it was going to get a lot of fucking views. Right. Tell us you're a dirtbag without telling us you're a fucking dirtbag. The chick he's talking about is my friend, which he impregnated and then dipped out on and went to New York with a guy named Chris and smoked crack for three months. Uh, yeah, so he's with his baby mama getting a tattoo to cover up his other baby mama for the music video, which will attract him in the future more baby mama drama. If that don't tell you who the fuck this dude is, then I don't know what does. And, um, yeah, so, you know, I did the old days, and that's when I was like, oh, my God. Yo, that's sad. This dude is still promoting the old days, and the old days is actually now literally the old days. No, no. This is real life. And then, like, during that time, also, church bought me, like, three trucks, bro. Church bought me three vehicles. When I, in the, in the oh, wow. What a, you know, fuck. That, isn't that so horrible? The time of me knowing him, bro, he bought me three vehicles. And he well, actually, I bought you one vehicle because you didn't have one, and I was like, fuck it, I'll buy you one. That was back when I was broke, by the way. The other two vehicles wow. I bought you was because you were dating my friend, and y'all were going to have a baby, and you was not interested in having a safe car for the baby. Which is why I bought my truck, because I want a vehicle that I can do work and be safe and comfortable with my family. Wow. I love that look right there on church. Like, bro, really? So I had to buy it because I care about my friend who you impregnated. <laughs> Here's how fucking stupid this guy is. What One dude. of the vehicles I buy for the baby so it could be safe, this dumb motherfucker trades it for a stunt bike that has no title. Oh my god. You didn't even take your kid to goddamn Walmart on the stunt bike? Bro, he bought me three vehicles and he gave me one. And he, he bro, he didn't care. He's, ever since I've known church, he's always had at least, at, the, at one time, 15 vehicles. You know, he never has less than 15, 20 vehicles. And that's, that, 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 that ain't a rich thing. He's just, he's a car fanatic. I give him that. I'll give him that. He does like cars. He, he's always been in, I mean, him and Gerald love 
trying, they uh, trading, buying, and selling cars. That's their thing. They've always done that. I'm not gonna take that from you. I've done well, that somebody my help whole me. Life. I don't fucking, I don't speak dumbass. What does that mean? Right. I ain't gonna take that away from him. He likes cars. I ain't gonna take that away from him. You can't. I'm buying the cars. What are you talking about? He, he, he's, he's, he's bad boys to an extent. To an extent. Excuse me. King of the motherfucking South. Actually, <laughs> I have backwoods tattooed on my back. That's how backwoods I am, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Come to me and talk. Come to me and told me to me to work with him because I was just kidding. Like I said, I'm just kidding on the street. So he said, "You're gonna pick me up to me to work." That's like me. That's me, baby. That's me right here. Look, I don't even ride four wheelers, baby. I don't even ride them. No. I don't even ride four wheelers. Fuck you talk about. We're going to ride around him one day. And, uh. Oh, Lord. The first person I ever talked to before I met anybody else in his group of friends. Yeah. And he was like, yo, bro, I don't know. And it's like, Gerald was kind of mad at him, too. Like, mad because his, his friend Church, he grew up with him, put on the front. Like, uh, he, he literally flat out just told me, he's like, no, church ain't crush the country, bro. Like, literally, everything he raps about is everything I've done. Like, church ain't gonna fight nobody. I literally chased church around his own house three times. This shit Deerdorf told me. Nope, not true. You know it's not true, and Deerdorf knows it's not true. Deerdorf has never chased me around trying to fight me. Ask him. Deerdorf is my homie. You're the one who's gotten chased around houses. And that was by me. That's how me and him come friends. We almost fought in the parking lot. He, he, he told me I wasn't going to meet him. And I met him. I, I walked right up to him and I shook his fucking hand. No, that never happened. I don't even know where the fuck that story came from. Damn. You mean to tell me he showed up to fight you and didn't fight you? Bro, you weigh like 90 pounds. Boy, that's a lie if I ever heard one. If Daryl shows up to fight you, he came to fight you, bro. He's not just going to be like, oh, never mind. I just, I, 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 he thought I was trying to fuck Lauren, his old lady or some shit. What now? I was talking something like that. And, what? Bro, Lord, is not finna give you a time of day. I'm sorry. A bunch of rumors because the church and my baby mama got better. You're fucking around. Damn, now me and his baby mama just Hold on. Lord, is not finna give you a time of day. I'm sorry. A bunch of rumors because the church and my baby mama got better around. Just right. Just a moment, that's all. Damn, now me and his baby mama Jessica, you watching this shit? That's why I'm, I'm out. I don't deal with that. That is. We got some drugs in his brain. He's like, fuck, man, I just take too much retarded shit. I'm going to have to look out the windows for the next month. I'm scared. Liam, I could live lifestyle that he lives. Well, hey, there's something we agree on. I agree. You probably couldn't. You'd see an amount in the bank account and fucking OD in the next four days. No, hell no. It's just, it's, it's not even a lifestyle, bro. It's just what he allows and enjoys to happen. He, he, he feeds on the bullshit. Yeah. Well, yeah, look what kind of videos it makes. The cracky tooth chronicles. Like, yo, just so you know, like, church, he ain't country. Like, I think he raps about his shit that I do in every day. Like, the fucking cars and the fucking uh, <laughs> shit. Here, man, all them fucking k and videos and riding wheelies and Harleys and shit. I just hire a stunt double to do all of it. Jet skiing, stunt double. Hiking through the North Carolina mountains during berry season with a bunch of bears, stunt double. You know, old school muscle cars I got, I don't drive them, stunt double. So I can just look backwards, you know what I mean? He's engineered over the first one to tell me that church was always that skater punk class pounding in school. No? Okay, so he told you the truth? I don't understand. I still skateboard. You can tell that with the Pokemon shit. Oh shit, calm down, buddy. The Pokemon shit! I must not be dumb enough to understand why that's a diss. I don't know. You can tell that with the Pokemon shit. Right, and not for nothing, when I was like seven, I fought with Pokemon cards, but after that, I think that was over. I mean, yeah, the craze is over, but, you know, all those cards from back then are worth lots of money now. For instance, I have like $890,000 worth of those gay Pokemon cards. I mean, yeah, when I was growing up, my I'm not hating on shit, but I have certain things from my childhood that I still fuck with. Yeah, just like Justin's childhood, he still doesn't have a job. But I'm not gonna fucking make it my everyday life. Like, you have no other thing in your life going on. You just, all day, you, every day, you just, you're in baby land. I don't know what the fuck's going on. So interesting. There's two grown-ass men over the age of 30 who smoke crack rocks that are mad that I collect Pokemon cards. <laughs> What the this fuck? This is why I make these videos. Man, it's just, I just Bro, wish. I swear to God, I got so lost, I forgot that I was on the video. I'm, I'm, I can't swear to God, I'm so sorry. Bro, I got so lost, like...
I thought you feel like an idiot. I forgot I was doing a fucking reaction. <laughs> These goddamn clowns. <laughs> they're joning to not Joan. Like, what? They're not even... They're <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking... I'm gonna have... Are you gonna send me out? You gonna send me to an early grave with this shit, dog? Please, I want to make the April concert, church. I want to make it to the fucking pit. Yeah, I wish people didn't worry, but man, it's just. Oh shit! Oh shit! I make these videos, man. It's just, I just wish. I understand. Yeah, I wish people didn't worry, but. You wish people didn't work. It'll come out. It'll come out. What are y'all doing? Hosting an AA meeting for up trip trauma? Up. Uh. <laughs> I've, I've been bitter for a long time. Not, not, not I know you have. I know you. People don't know. And what people don't know. I know. And it bothers me for everybody to say, like, oh my God. And just worship this motherfucker. And, and I'm, I'm not even saying that he shouldn't have no fans. All I'm saying is, y'all need to know the fucking truth if you're going to support somebody. Right. Bringing you the truth since last week. Johnny Gobble and Cracky Tooth. Will continue to tell us the truth is dead. It changes my whole outlook on you, church. I, I fucking hate that you wear my ring and that I gave you a ring. You you took it from my tin can so I couldn't pay my light bill. Dag burn. He had death threats from black people at shows back in the beginning. Nope, that's false. I've only had two death threats at shows and they're both white guys. Once in West Virginia and once in South Carolina. So every show we played, bro, there was death threats. If at every show there was death threats, I don't think I'd be playing shows still. I don't think places would want to book you either, right? I mean, fuck. You know that like, guy that gets all the death threats everywhere? Let's fucking book him. Every every show there we played, there was a death threat. So, we all had guns. Well, Church had a gun, I had a gun, the drummer, and yeah, didn't. We no, no, I didn't have a gun. I ain't backwards, bro. No, I was just going to stunt double. Let me tell you something. That motherfucker won't even hold his own gun. This... Yeah, man, Turk carries a gun, man. Hey, man, Turk won't even hold a gun, man. God damn. This dude's brain's fucked up. Yeah, no so I, shit. I respected him. Like, bro, I, I, had, I just had my son. You know this. You're the godfather of my son. And you're still... And yet you asked me to carry your gun into a bar and raise my... He's your godfather, life. but yet... Do you understand how stupid you sound, man? As a normal friendship, as a normal anything, you sound like a fucking moron, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Oh, man. I hope y'all are enjoying this with me, because I'm enjoying it. I know it's it's a lot, but I'm enjoying it. Wow. This dude's brain's fucked up. This is why I start respecting him. Like, bro, I, I, had, I just had my son. You know this. You're the godfather of my son. And yet you asked me to carry your gun into a bar and risk my freedom, my life, possibly get shot or have to shoot somebody over you. And then I get on stage performing in the middle of the song. After uh, after the song, you look at me and go, in the middle of a crowd. Go ahead, Justin. So, uh, I, you know, remember when somebody said they was going to shoot us at this show on stage? I was like, yeah. Then what you going to do? I was like... What do you mean? You're supposed to be down for your you. You're supposed to be down for your people. I don't it, see. With me, that's a whole different ball game, and I really can't get into that. But like, you know, I'm not even gonna talk about that. But uh, I ride with my people. You know what I'm saying? So like, if I'm with my people, it it doesn't matter if it's church or if it's. If it's Joe Smo, it doesn't matter. I guess that's that's everybody's different when it comes to that account because ain't nobody finna pull off on my homeboy either. You know what I'm saying? Like, or let's say ain't nobody finna pull off on my skin, bro. Like, no, we're we're chilling, bro. Everything's cool. You know what I'm saying? We we cool. So I don't know. That's a different thought process for me right there.
It's just like he's telling everybody I got a gun on me. Like, bro. So nobody caught it. And I was just, so I made it sound, I, made, I broke it off like it was funny. I was like, I'm going to fucking shoot him. I was just being funny. I laughed. And I got off stage. I walked to the green room with a gun out and cleared up. Well, I hope y'all don't hate me, man. I'm just going to walk right here. I know I walked off. Oh, I'm so sorry. But these people right here got me so thrown off. I didn't even know the cigarette. Let's, let's finish well, this off. The drummer and the DJ were back there with some groupie. I mean, just like he's telling everybody I got a gun on me. Like, so bro. now he's talking about DJ Cliffy and Kid on Drunk. Come on, bro. You talking about everybody, bro. Oh, bro. So nobody caught it. I was just, so I made it sound. I, I, made, I broke it off like it was funny. I was like, I'm going to fucking shoot him. I was just being funny. I laughed. And I got off stage. I went to the green room with a gun out and put it up. Well, fucking the drummer and the DJ were back there with some groupies. Right. And the groupies, as soon as I walked in, I'm not used to fucking groupies being in the green room because they're not supposed to be. Yeah, ladies, no girls allowed. It's our fucking come right after the show and get our shit out and write and, you know, whatever. Right. So, me not just being used to the green room, I'm fucking barge in with the gun out and, put, and start wiping it off and I'm sweating like a motherfucker. <laughs> well, goddamn. <laughs> Uh, yeah, calm I'm down. Fuck up in the green room with a gun, you dummy. The guns on the rocks. I mean, it's just, I'm, that's the way I'm thinking. Right. So, For what? Like you're not in fucking. Everybody's freaking out. You're not in the motherfucking hood, exactly. You come in like a goddamn terrorist. What the fuck? My oh, guy's got a gun. Cops get called. Marshals get called. Shut the whole fucking show down. Raid the fucking place. Fucking. The, uh, Why are you running around with a gun, gun and gang? Everybody, man. The cops. Fucking barge right in, uh, everybody's scattered, and go straight to church. They go straight to church, put the shirt up, ripping his fucking clothes off, searching for the gun, and I'm right behind the church with the gun. So I fucking slip out the fucking back door, and we were in the, they were in the back patio when they got to church. So I'm in the back patio, I slip out the back fence door thing, go around the back to the van, put the gun in the van, walk through the front door. Back. So all this is, bro, this is a story of some shit that happened. Okay, so basically just like me, you, your homeboys, your friends, um... Maybe it was your homeboy and your cousin, or it was your friend and his cousin. Y'all went out and y'all had a crazy night one night. That's the same thing, except for he's trying to glorify it because church has a fan base and is a musician. Okay, so let's say we could have said the same thing. Me and my boy snuck into Corbin Arena the night before, and we got this close to church, and... Uh, the security could have fucking tased us and shot us and pepper sprayed us and blah, blah, blah. We could have said whatever we want. Church the next night laughed about it. I was like, dude, you should have hollered my name. I would have let you stay in here. That's not for everybody. Don't go do no shit like that. That was fucking stupid. But it happened. Anyway, um, I had taught at church before. So y'all don't do no dumb shit. Anyway, but... He's basically saying what, like, a, an ordinary night would be. Just people chilling. Shit happened. That was a bad night of people chilling, but it was still a night, like, that, it just, that happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he, he waited to use this as an arsenal to go against her. Come on, man. It, you sound bad, bro. You sound bad. Back to church, like nothing ever fucking happened, and they never fucking found the gun. What is wrong with you? You mean to tell me I brought my gun into a club of people, told you to put it in your pants, then after the show, I was like, hey everyone, he has a gun! But nobody heard me. But then everyone started freaking out. So I'm glad that he's explaining it because it didn't make no sense to me. But even if you had a gun, Y'all have permits to tote. All that good shit. You can have your... It, that's so stupid. So stupid. Put it in your pants. Then after the show, I was like, Hey, everyone, he has a gun. But nobody heard me. But then everyone started freaking out. Then the fire marshals and the goddamn Soviet Union shows up. The FBI and CIA. They raids the place. But so none of this even happened. God damn. Because it's on the guy beside me while I'm getting strip searched. So it never even happened. Great. That's what I figured. And what then the? you sneak out of the building and then back into the building. <laughs> 
Right. Okay. What the fuck is wrong with you? So uh, essentially, you're saying we had a show for a bunch of deaf people, and then uh, the cops showed up, and they're all blind. And, and they're kind of right around touching right. the walls looking for a gun. And then you freeze time, and you sneak into the front and into the back or whatever, and then it magically. Lord of the Rings. Just, we all got away with it. They Pokemon. You need fucking help. No. That would have ruined his career. Everyone's career, bro. We don't have folks. Fuck, dude. Wow. Hey, Johnny Gobble, did you know that Unicorns was real? Oh, yeah. Fuck, dude. I heard they like to stay in Hainesville, Kentucky. They do? Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you had to get the fuck away, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, this you is had to get the fuck away. Yeah, good thing he fucking got away. Woo! Close call. Yeah, who the fuck wants to live like me? Hey, I just seen this call on the side of the road. You go pick it up. I don't care how much it costs. Horrible. Just flat out horrible. As a grown man, like, do I need to? Am I wanted here? Am I even respected here? You ain't respect. You wasn't respected. You wasn't respected, bro. Look, they got one thing right in the video. No, you're not respected. You've impregnated like four women and take care of zero of the children. You get zero respect over here. You None. Respect. It's things just like that, though. Like, bro, not only that, bro. Uh, Church's best friend Putin. His best friend Putin was getting jumped in the park in Kim County twice by two younger boys, little fuckers. Like, I, I know I look like a little dude, but I'm, these guys are little, little. Like, my friend, don't mistake me. I'm old school. I'm, I'm 30 years old. I'm not a little kid from the millennial age. I'm old school. I'll fucking manhandle you and maul you, motherfucker. I call bullshit. I don't think you will. Crawl up you and maul you? Will you gonna bite somebody's neck? The fuck? All right, well, prove it. Do it to me. Come on, get me. Uh, like, right. The thing is, like, we went to these fucking two little places where these, uh, his little buddy Putin was getting jumped, and, Ch and Church is all hyping me and his cousin up. Billy's like, bro, we gotta go, we gotta go get these motherfuckers, blah, 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 blah. And Putin's in trouble. I'm like, all right, well, let's go. And Billy's like, let's go. So we get the truck, and both fucking times, bro, at both fucking times, we get to these fucking, it's, it's, it's pussy shit, too. Like, they ain't even fight when we get there. That's the, that's the bad thing. We're sticking up for us. You place. didn't do it, they right? They ain't even doing anything. Like, this ain't a fight. This is fucking high school shit. They're just arguing in the parking lot. Well, yeah, when your friends call you and say, hey, man, I think I'm gonna get jumped, you show up and you just stand there and make sure they don't get jumped. If them two are arguing or about to fight, what do, you, what do you want us to do? We're not going to jump the guy. Yeah, beat the fuck out of them all because... <sighs> this is so... St like... Church, these people are not worth your time, brother. Jumping is some sissy shit. I'm just going to sit there and let them argue. If they fight, they fight. If they don't, they don't. Well, I'm telling you, if you say we're going to go do something, we're going to go... We're going to go do it. We're going to go do it. We're going to go do it. Bro, didn't this dude just say one minute ago? Like, he was like, man, I was... It was bad. I was scared. And, and I held this gun and froze time and escaped the police. Now you're like, well, well, man, if you show up, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's why guys like you fucking end up in jail for the rest of your goddamn life. Because you're stupid as fuck. Yeah. You can just jump out of a car and just start jumping people. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? They don't call me cracky tape for nothing, Mo. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to know nobody, know what's going on. Those no situations, I just jump out and start swinging and go to jail for not shit. Just because I want to be stupid. You know what I mean? That's how you know I'm a real country boy. I just like love being stupid. And me and your cousin jump out the truck both times and you sit in the truck and feel everybody? Like you just can't wait to see somebody knock the fuck out? Like, that, 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 that right there is the difference between church and even his family and everybody around him that don't fuck with him now. Bro, like, you film the shit that we do. You talk about the shit that you do us to do. Yeah, man, I became a millionaire from writing about being a cracky tooth that don't take care of none of his kids. That's how I came respected by hundreds of thousands of people. Not to mention, I didn't know you for very long, bro. You think I've just been, just been doing songs like this? Look, man, I, I don't, I'm not a bragging motherfucker, bro, but like, I don't even do shit and cracky tooth ain't got me, bro. So like, it, You don't have just a whole bunch of hobos and hillbillies as your fucking as your fans, man. Yeah, I'm country. I'm I'm redneck. I'm hillbilly. I'm city. I'm I'm me. I'm I'm just me. And I 100% back Creek Squad. You are my motherfucking family, y'all. This shit is real. These people make no fucking sense. Like they're literally feeding off each other. They're they're bouncing around all kinds of different directions, and nobody even understands what the fuck. Like, 
this man has said, I don't care about your money and has talked about getting church's money 10 times. He has commented on my videos talking about me being in the legal blah, blah, blah. I'm going to be in the shit. Like, he wants money from me. Like, this man is literally just trying to get bread. Leave church's pockets alone. And just do you, bro. What the fuck? Because I hung out. I mean, you just, not to mention, I didn't know you for very long, bro. You think I just been, you just been doing songs like this? Because I hung out with you for six months and tried to help you better your life? Uh, no, I write about me and my friends and what me and my friends do. And you're not a part of that group. Uh, you send me to do the shit you think you, you do in your head. Like, bro, fuck you. I'm not your fucking minion. I live my life. I'll fight for me now. Fuck you. And what is it exactly you're doing for yourself? The shit that he would want to play out in his life, he's wanting other people to be. He, he wanted to do it. This whole time, bro, he wanted to be. He, he wants to have this outlaw image as if he's ever done anything outlaw. My brother, this never, this dude never sold anything. He never had to sell nothing. Do you have to be a drug dealer now to be an outlaw? Damn. We're not gonna go into any that of that. Sucks. Your dad owned a paint company. What? What are you doing besides solidifying that what I say is true, bro? Yeah, man. Fuck up, church. I'm gonna get on YouTube and pretty much make a video that explains how his whole life, the entire time, has been true. <laughs> That'll show him. Bobby didn't make him rich. Bobby didn't do that. Oh, he church, didn't. He got rich because he's fallen. Bobby mm -hmm. hates Bob, Church owns half of Redneck Nation, by the way. I support and am sponsored by Redneck Nation, but I don't own half of it. I mean, you can look that. That's that's public. Oh, Jesus Christ. Does this thing even know how to fucking mail a letter to somebody? <laughs> Bobby, Bobby wasn't even named Redneck Nation. Whenever Bobby met Church, then he changed his name to Redneck Nation and solely made it about Church because Church was that fucking popular. Well, what was it called before that? Because I've only known it as Redneck Nation. Brianna, though, Church was homeless before he ever got started, too. Just like me. Okay, that's not going to work. You, you already told everyone about the apartment that you came to earlier in the video. Oh, my God. And Brianna, his girlfriend, and her family took Church in and got him on his feet. Oh my god, Cracky Tooth, you already told people earlier in the video that she lived with me! Brianna moved in with me, fucking. She's not the type of woman who's gonna be like, oh, look at this homeless guy. You wanna live with me and my family? <laughs> yeah, no, she's not like that. And got him a phone, and got him a truck to go to work in. Holy fuck, this sounds like a game show. This sounds like, hello, uh, man. Homeless man, when I'm moving with me and my family, here's you a brand new phone and a brand new car. I must be like redneck Jesus to this motherfucker or some shit. Just fucking, I just think about wanting something, it just popped up. And all that, and... Who said that Bobby done that? Who said that Bobby done that? No. No, yes, it was Bobby. Why are you saying it's not? Bro, why are they so on your nuts, bro? Like, like I've felt bad about... You know, like, I feel like I've done too many videos or tried too hard to get in touch with you. I've tried, like, I felt like I was pushing a little too hard. These motherfuckers want to know what your butthole smells like. These motherfuckers want to know what color your pee pee is. These motherfuckers want to know what you're eating for breakfast. If you're having a healthy lunch snack and how much protein is in your shakes at night, bro. Like... What the fuck is going on right here? Whoa! Whoa! You know it was. Bobby from Redneck Nation taught me about the internet. Yes, dumb fuck, it's literally Whoa. on the internet. Uh, that's what he does, man. Like, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Like, the whole time with him, he, I, 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 I'll not do nothing this time. No, yes, it was Bobby. Why are you saying it's not? <laughs> it's not Bobby from Redneck Nation taught me about the internet. Yes, dumb fuck, it's literally on the internet. Uh, that's what he does, man. Like, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Like, when, the whole time with him, I, I, I was there to do music, but he seemed to think that I was there. He bought me a fucking 82 Ford Bronco with a fucking tennis lift on it and 44 inch Mickey Thompson. I mean, yep. You knew exactly what he got you, though. Right. And he got me a fucking. Um, he gave me his high school and he said, You didn't give him nothing small either, church. Damn, dude. 
Sucks that you're so fucking nice. Oh, man. And he got me a fucking, um, he gave me his high school and he signed our body. Went, went from high school, he had signed and dirty. Yeah. I saw that, I saw that bitch. I'm mm-hmm. giving so $2,200. Fuck his truck. <laughs> <sighs> what can I say, guys? You just can't help some people. Let this be a lesson. Don't do what I done. I had to learn the hard way. Some of us over the years, we catch on, and you know, our stupid, dumb, fuck, idiot years are over by the time we're about mm, 24, 25. No, nope. 30. Then others like Johnny Gobble and Cracky Tooth. What'd you say? 24, 25. At least for me. Then others like Johnny Gobble and Cracky Tooth get shit thrown in their lap and really great opportunities, and somehow they just. Fuck them up. And then yes. They chance, and then they and put- someone like me fucking begs for the smallest possibility. Fuck that up. And then a third and a fourth and they just keep on fucking shit up. Then they end up getting on the internet when they're high and blaming everyone else for their problems. I mean, dude, look at Johnny Gobble. He's got two kids, man. They're 14. They're in high school. They're in ninth grade. And everybody at school's probably watching. My kid don't. Their dad. You don't hear him. Look at him, bro. Wait, look at him. And let me tell you something. Kids in Paintsville, what up, Skins? By the way, I love Kentucky. If you do go to school with his two daughters, be nice to him, man. It ain't their fault. Then you have Cracky Tooth. Look at Cracky Tooth, man. There's nothing going on. He's had everything dropped in his lap. I've orchestrated a viral fucking song for him. It has 40 million fucking views. He's done not shit with it. Every woman he's had sex with... And got pregnant. He's left them high and dry to fend for themselves. That's fucked up. Mm-mm. If you get a woman pregnant, I don't give a fuck what circumstances. Take care of your child. Sorry. I don't give a fuck if it was a one night stand, if you were cheating, whatever the fuck the case may be. If you get that woman pregnant, your ass better take care of that baby, bro. You know why? Because that's not the real man thing to do, fucking. We just gonna leave this baby to have nobody to protect it, look up to it in this fucked up world we're in? No. Now, it's not you don't the baby's get along fault. This woman and y'all are arguing, but you're still like, hey, I'll still pay for whatever since you won't let me see my kid or whatever. Then some other guy comes in the picture and she's like, well, I don't want him to raise the kids and you sign your rights over. That's fucking different. But when you're just like dipping the fuck out, like, I don't know nothing. That alone shows how fucking pathetic and stupid. And useless. Both of you fucking idiots are. That's why it doesn't bother me. Look at you. You both talk like robots. You both ain't doing shit. And by the way, Baby Cakes, I know you're watching this. You're the one who dates Cracky Tooth. And you've been following me for a minute. And you know I wouldn't stray you wrong. If you were smart, you would kick that goofy fucking low life out of your motherfucking place, because that's your place, and you would find somebody better, because you deserve better. Ouch. He has nothing going for him. He don't want nothing going for him. That's he's got, not a... He's got some goddamn videos coming for him, though, boy. Boy. Live life for you, girl. And that's just real talk. Boy. From Bubba Up Church. Bum. Boy, I can't even say nothing else. Creep. Squad. Then I'm out.